three New Zealand foods that I think are so much better here in New Zealand than in the U.S. Number one, chocolate. What the heck? Your chocolate is so good. You've even figured out how to combine chocolate and pineapple. It's brilliant. Whitaker's, Cadbury, they're all very good. Mm, so good. I even bring chocolate back to all my friends and family in the States, and then I don't give it out, and I just eat it myself. Number two, your scones. Your savory or sweet scones, but your savory, your cheese scones, what the heck. So good. I've never had a scone that good in the U.S. And number three, the way you do a roast. You have, you have like one of the meat options, beef, pork, or chicken, and then you have all these vegetables, and then you have these roasted potatoes. Like U.S., it's a lot of mashed potatoes. Roasted potatoes, mm, so good. And then gravy, and then I was here for like four years before someone said, do you want a Yorkshire pudding? I thought it was dessert. I thought, sure, I like pudding. It's like a bread with like a hole in it with a gravy. Christmas holiday break from work, U.S. versus New Zealand, my experience. Okay, a couple days before Christmas, like the 22nd, 23rd, because in the U.S. you have off on the 24th and the 25th. We do not have Boxing Day in the U.S. You have like a party at work, like in the office, and you just kind of, everybody brings something and you have a little bit of a party. You're still working that day, but you are partying a bit. And in New Zealand, you also have a work Christmas party, just like the office, or sometimes you go out, or sometimes it's, you know, it just depends on what kind of job that you have. But in New Zealand, you have Christmas Day off and then Boxing Day, which is December 26th. Um, and sometimes you get the 24th off, but it depends, but it's not as popular as it in the U.S. In the U.S., generally, people have off the 24th, unless you're in retail. And then New Zealand heads out for their summer holiday. Yes, Christmas kind of kicks off summer holiday because it's summer here for one, and like the school year has ended, kids have off for six weeks, and everybody travels. I mean, whole companies will shut down for weeks, sometimes a month. People go on two, three, four, five week holidays, go to the beach or whatever they wanna do, and it kind of kicks off. So Christmas kind of kicks that off, and everybody is gone over the summer break. So comment below and let me know what you are doing this summer. Movie concessions. I love going to the movies. Okay, can I get a popcorn, a large soda? Oh, you don't have popcorn. Oh, looks like you have coffee and some baked goods. Ooh, I'll have some of that. Oh, and you have wine. Nice. Oh, maybe I want that. Oh my gosh, do you have ice creams? Ice creams in the movie theater? Awesome. Okay, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Okay, I can get a hot dog, a nachos, a large popcorn that's refillable, and a large drink. What do I want? Ooh, a pizza. Ooh, I could get that. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, you'll serve it to me while I'm seated? Nice. Nice. Um, I think I'll go with nachos and a large drink. Thank you. And milk duds. U.S. versus New Zealand, back to school edition. Look at what New Zealand does. This is brilliant. They have like one A8 and they're all green. Then they have the one, and this is how they label them. They're like color coded and number letter coded. And they all represent like what the different types of paper is on the inside. Anyway, the teacher sends you a list. You need two one A8s, whatever. It's so easy. It's so straightforward. And they're all the same color. There's no choices. It's just, this is your choice. And then, you know, some pencils and a ruler and you're set, right? That's not what it's like in the US. Okay, so school starts September 1st-ish. School supplies come out July 15th after the 4th of July. And let me tell you, as a parent, you're like going into battle because you have the list. Now let, let's, you know, in the US, if you don't show up on the first day of school with all of your supplies, not a good idea. Now. They go, and so people know this, so every, they sell out very quickly. And so what you're gonna have is your student is gonna go into these aisles and they're gonna have so many different designs, folders, notebooks, whatever, and, and where they can, you know, show their style, right? And so a plain blue color folder is a dollar. A stylish one is $9.99. And so you have to go into battle with your kisses. They're like, oh, I love this one and this one and this one. You know, the plain colored ones are like a fraction of the cost. And then the teacher makes it difficult where they said we need four red folders, two blue folders, one yellow folder. And let me tell you, they always run out of those. And you have to go to like five stores to get them <laughs> because your student stresses out if they don't show up on the first day with all of their supplies. It is a totally different experience. School supply shopping, U.S. compared to New Zealand. New Zealand... Hi, 
hi. Uh, we're going to take a break. It's only 10. And we started at 9. Oh, morning tea. Everybody goes. All right. I guess I'm in. Hi, you wanted to see me? Mm-hmm. You want to what? You want me to take off of work? Oh, you want me to take weeks of holiday? You actually want me to? Are you, are you being serious? Uh, okay. Oh, yes. Looks like I beat everyone at work this morning. Yes, bright and early, right before the sun rises. I know, right? She leaves every day at 5.30. I know. She is totally going to get passed up for that promotion. I was wondering if I could possibly have two days off. I know it's not the best time of... Okay, all right, never mind. Heading to the doctor's office, USA versus New Zealand. Yes, I have an appointment today for one of my four children. Here's my insurance card, my driver's license. I have to do all 16 pages of this paperwork. Here's my card for the $30 copay. She said a fever, throwing up for about two weeks. Oh, I should have waited another week. Oh, uh, hold on. Are you going to leave now? Uh, can I just ask you like three more questions? Thank you for getting my appointment today. That was really great. My daughter has not been feeling well. So you don't need anything from me? I just sit down. Yeah, so my daughter has had a fever, throwing up, really sick for about two weeks. Oh, I should have come in earlier. I can just call and schedule any time. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing well. I'm doing really well. Um, you know, I got the three other kids, so it's been really hard when she's sick. Oh, that was really great. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk me through this.